Hello everyone, welcome back. We're going to show you how a rough house is being made. Some of you have left comments in the section there to want to know how we go about that. And so today we're just going to show you the simple things of how we come up with an idea and uh, to bring it to the final stage of a rough out. So uh, it comes with an idea. Uh, you can take any idea and put it on paper. You don't have to learn how to draw. Uh, I don't draw very well. Uh, but basically what we're going to show you today is a front a side profile and a front profile and so all I need is a side and front profile that I that when I come up with an idea uh, for a rough out and so again we I don't do those here I send my masterpiece off to the the duplicator and uh, he does all that work and removing all the excess wood off and so when you uh, you know, whether it's graph paper that you use, you know, the inch by inch uh, on the graph paper, sometimes you got to lengthen your legs, shorten your arms, and so it may, it may take two or three different times to get it right, and that's satisfying to you. And then uh, when it's satisfying to you, then I take, uh, you know, my, my wood here, and I lay out my pattern on a piece of basswood, and then we take it to the bandsaw when we get the pattern put on here, then we take it to the bandsaw, and then we uh, start, we cut out the side profile first, and uh, then we do the front profile. And then we basically take our knife and start putting in the basic features of the nose. If we're going to have a hand outside or inside the pocket, we split the legs a little bit. And then, um, you know, even on the back side, we may put a pocket there to where the duplicator can see that there. And so, uh, we just put the basic bare minimums of, a, uh, of the features of the human body on the rough outs. You don't need a whole lot uh, to, just to get a rough out started. But I do show you here, when we do get it carved, all right, and completely, and you'll I'll notice, I want you to see here on this particular piece, this is a Mike Shipley rough out. And uh, this one is a pretty old one. And uh, basically what we do is when we get it all uh, cut out, the basically and carved, and these are the features. You can see the nose, the mustache, the ball, the tassel, the quilt part of it. And then if we're satisfied with that basic feature, and then we'll take our glue bottle here and we will absolutely put three or four coats of glue on this particular uh, project here. So uh, you'll have to let it dry between coats, but it gives it a hard surface to where the rough out, the, the, the chuck, the, the bit, will slide over, it gives it a slick surface for it to be able to go over and uh, give us the details. And uh, this is what I ship off to uh, my duplicating guy. And, um, and then uh, when I get it back, uh, this, is what, this, this is what this guy looks like when he comes back from the duplicator. And some people say, well, that's cheating on using a, a rough out, but I disagree. Everyone has their own opinions on it, but I, I think it gets you down to the fun part of carving, and that is the face, you know, and giving it a great looking face. And so, uh, either, either way, you know, if you want to strictly just carve from a bandsaw cutout, you sure can. But a rough out makes it uh, just as really simple because it takes away the fat, the, the waste, and you get down to the fun part. And then at the end, it comes out to our finished product. And uh, so when you order one of these through the mail, you'll get one just like this and a go-by sheet that goes with it. But this is what it will turn out to be, hopefully, uh, over time and practice. And so, again, this is just a, a few minutes to show you quickly how the process goes. And uh, we hope that you'll come back and see us soon. Leave a comment in the section below. Please subscribe and like uh, because we do read the comments and we appreciate any feedback and any future suggestions you have. Take care and happy carving.